Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for a new film. This sign is Matilda the Musical. This one is from 2022 uh, and is, of course, inspired in the original version of Matilda uh, that I reacted a couple of weeks ago. So if you're watching this and you want to watch me react to the original one, go ahead it's it's on patreon and if you're on patreon just scroll down a little bit on the movie tag and it, it's going to be uh there and i'm very excited i'm very excited that i get to react to it today it came out of the where is it there the bucket of films uh and we have two films to react to this weekend and uh, one of them is matilda the musical which we are going to do right now and the other one is friends and family christmas which we are almost at the end of of january so it's great that we're gonna react <laughs> anyways i tried to do it on december but you know it's difficult anyway so we're gonna watch this one first we're gonna enjoy it we're gonna have fun um of course i know what uh uh the film is going to be about but since it's a musical i do not know or have heard any of the songs feature on the movie so i'm excited to discover them with all of you so i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys like it I hope you guys continue support for more please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're watching on youtube if you're watching on patreon give it a heart continue supporting for more because i will be doing more reaction videos for more films we have lots of films on the bucket of films right there that we're gonna be choosing uh next week as well so yeah stay tuned for that for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Uh, I hope you guys continue supporting for more. And without further ado, let's just begin with Matilda the Musical. Here we go. <laughs> Which is going to be the opposite for Matilda. A baby. I'm not yeah. having a baby. What? I'm having a stinking baby. Every life, every life is unbelievably unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Stephen Grant. Matilda, the musical. I don't know who Roll Da Da is. Everything all right, Matilda? Oh, hi. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Phelps. We get home. No, oh, so the library is moving. Okay. Um, <laughs> what kind of oh, education hi. does she receive here? Hi. My name's Miss Honey. Oh, she's Miss Honey. So into books, full of stories, and will even teach you how to write your own. I'd better go. Ooh. Yeah, well, you're going to school now, and you're going to meet the Trunchbull. The Trunchbull? Yeah. The Trunchbull. I called her and told her what a nasty little trouble made. So looking forward to meeting you. Those teeth are so That's fake. That's not bad. Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. <laughs> <laughs> In the slip of a boat, there's a tiny river. And have to shout because it's not going to be Believe me, it's going to change my story. Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. <laughs> Run, Sham Hall. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> that can be good. Honey's gonna teach us to tell stories. <laughs> but I think I've got one already. Like it's bursting to get out. An escapologist who could escape from any lock ever invented. We have everything that the world has to offer, said the wife. But not the one thing in the world we want most. 
Do you not have a child? In her hair over sharks and spiky objects. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is. What is our destiny? <laughs> well, what happened next? I, I don't know. Trunch ball. <laughs> is it your first day too? Yes, I'm not worried, but I think Isaac might be. Oh, or to put in heaps of effort, you're just wasting energy. Cause your life as you know it is ancient history. I have become aware that some of you are not yet in class. Correct this. Why, 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 why? Yeah. Do I tell her it's like quick? Wow. Just you wait for Fizette. <laughs> She's doing the, the... What are you doing? The math. Well, I'm polishing it off. Is that correct? Well, yeah. And then I thought I may as well do the rest. The rest? Yeah, she's very you bright. Ugh. Enter. Ooh. Don't just stand there like a wet tissue. Get on with it. Yes. So she's a real... That's a, that's, that's Emma Thompson. No, hit me such I don't think... No. I'm... No, you do not. Oh my god. Bring this one to my attention. I shall destroy it in due course. Good no, day. no, no. No, that's not what she meant. An exception to the rules. Ooh. <laughs> oh. In my school. I... Ooh. If you want to throw the hammer for your country, I apply just one simple rule to a hammer free life at school. Always keep your feet inside the line. Now to those shoes. Ooh! Ooh! I love it. You want to hear about my first day at school? Yeah, I'd rather eat vegetables. It's a not backyacking. Don't you backyack me. <laughs> I'll rip this book up in front of you. No, it's a library book. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. Well, they have captured the aces of the Wormwoods as well. It doesn't mean that you just have to remember nothing will change. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers don't really throw children. The big kids are just trying to scare you. Scare is it? You don't know scare till you've been in choky. Oh yeah. The place you are sent if you haven't been good. Or no time when you scream, you don't know if the sound came out or if the scream in your head even reached your mouth. Oh. Yes, Miss Trenchville. What? I said about the pigtails. 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 Oh! <laughs> as horrible as the first time, and this time looks even more real. Oh! Yes, you've got it. And what is your name? Matilda. Matilda Wormwood. I like troublemakers. Wormwood. She's alive! Cancelled because my wife is pregnant. She's, she's pregnant. Oh. Matilda. She was instantly forgotten. <laughs> forgotten by everyone except the acrobat's evil stepsister. Contract, you have signed to perform this feat. Oh. To perform this feat, you, you shall. And it will be performed this day. For off the prison, you both shall go. What happened next? Yeah. I don't know. Bye, Mrs. Phelps. I love the tomorrow I'm at the windmill. I love that the library is like, you know, a place that kinda like goes everywhere where she you know, not necessarily where she needs to be, but where she knows she can find her, you know? Kinda cute. Gotta say that this place is a lot cleaner than the original. Uh What a touching little scene. Oh no. 
A piece of my private chocolate cake was stolen. I did not st Okay, I think we found who did it. <laughs> oh, the smell of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Hey! A single slice, or even two, Bruce. Might have been nice. You can't. You can't. You surely can't. You surely can't. You want the man, Bruce? B R O O C E. <laughs> and the second part is Toki. <gasps> please, not that, please. No. No. To me. Yeah. Oh. Powers are beginning to manifest. Then she hugged him with the biggest hug in the world. Apologist was so kind that he never for one second blamed the evil stepsister for what happened. Oh, this is this is this is fact. this is this is Miss Miss Honey's story combined with hers and like yeah okay he okay. Her to move in and help look after his daughter. The terrible, terrible cheat! I hate cheats. But I bought a drill. Attached it to the speedometer and whacked it in reverse. Mm. You cheated them. You're just a cheat. Oh, a little pig. Oh, you no. Little creep. Lee encouraged the woman to greater her cruelties. But no, you nasty little creep. And when he heard the sound of his daughter's tears, he smashed the door open. And hurt you with nothing to fear. I'm here. That his mind could no longer contain. I have to. The smell of rebellion comes out in the sweat. The mystery to mastery. The art of love from Mr. Singer. The smell of rebellion. The sense of revolt that he sells. Don't let them steal your heart. <laughs> She looks more scary like that or her normal gear. She's mad. Yeah. I mean, we 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 all we we know how awful this character is. But that performance My god. My God! Ah! <laughs> Just... Of course. Come on, boy. You did say it was going to be fun. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. No! No! Oh! Leave him alone! You <gasps> stupid bully! Oh, Matilda! I was expecting an explosion or something like that. Like the sound of a page being turned in a book. With the power of her mind. I moved it with my eyes. With your brain. You see, my father died when I was young. On my aunt became my legal guardian. You see, she said his death was an accident, but... You think she did him in? I begged the farmer who owned it to let me move in. This roof keeps me dry when the rain falls. Oh, as you can see, well, it's perfect for tea. It isn't much, but it is enough for me. And when it's cold and bleak as dawn, it's her. It's her story. 
Dude, it's so fresh. beautiful. I wanna cry. Yeah. My god. Where did you get this girl? It was my father's. She was an, an acrobat. People in my story. I thought I was making it up, but it's real. Honey, who's your aunt? What my step aunt? Miss Trunchbull. <laughs> you must forget all this. You need to be very careful. She's dangerous. She's a so bully. Oh. <laughs> What the hell is happening? And any child who gets one answer wrong goes to Turkey. Stand and spell Amchelicomanials. What? But that's not even a word. Okay. I'm so sorry. C A F. We're standing up. Can't put us all in Turkey. Banana. G T. I love that. Unity. Oh, Bruce. Sheem Fat has a chokey for everyone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I'm still. Like, they're making me nervous when I have watched the other movie. The chokey. Magnus. <laughs> They should have pointed out that she was superstitious. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pigtails. <laughs> Run. <laughs> the best of me. Oh, Bruce! Never again, or slam, never again. Can I be bullied and be way revolting? Oh! Revolting children living in revolting times. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Say your goodbyes now! I must tell to stay here with me. <laughs> you want us to leave our daughter here with you? What did you just call me? Yeah. Oh, did you just call me your daughter? The first time he refers to her as daughter. <laughs> we are a bit short of room. Yeah. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Best thing they, they could have done. Giraffes, right? That's why there's a giraffe there. Okay, guys, so that was the end of Matilda the Musical. Um, this film inspired, of course, not, not a remake, it's just the musical. You know, Matilda the Musical. Uh, for those um, who have, I guess, grown up, I guess, or watched Matilda, 
more than once. I have only watched it one, one time. And I loved it, you know. And when you do that and when musicals or things like that are made off, sometimes it can be, you know, it can be a hit or it can be a miss, you know, so. Um, but I think they hit the characters and the story so well. They skipped a few parts, uh, like Matilda had an older brother, right? That's the one part that they missed. But the fact that the dad was... You know, not he was not happy about having having a daughter, and kept calling her he. You know, it kind of makes you kind of remember that in the original there was a a, a a brother. You know, uh, that he had a an older uh, son, who he was a little bit more nice to, and like he was. Like them, you know, and he wasn't like Matilda, the like books and all of that. Um, they also don't spend a lot of the background kind of with Matilda growing up and how she started to learn how to write and how to read and all of that and how she do, did all sorts of things when she was younger. Uh, they just present Matilda at the age where the movie uh, 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 progresses the most. You know, so they start from that point. She's born. We know that the parents are not very happy with her, which we knew from the get-go on the original uh, film. Um, and then they go, you know, in for uh, the fact that she's a, a bookworm, you know, and, like, she wants to study. And the fact is that they should have put her in school already due to her age, and all of that, which also happens in the original movie. So, but it happens in 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 a different circumstances. But like, as a fan of Matilda, you know the original film, I had no problem with that. I had no problem with anything that happened during this film, you know, um, because of course they change, uh, and people. I'm going to guess. I mean, if they made such a big deal when they had. The Little Mermaid being a, 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 a black uh, actress, you know, and they make such a fuss about it because how dare you? You know, I'm going to guess that some people will raise their uh, questions about why Miss Honey now is, a, is portrayed by a black actress as well. Honestly, for me, the essence of the characters, Matilda, even, you know, the parents, you know, Miss Honey, Trunchbull, you know, all of the, all of them, they capture the essence of the characters splendidly. They did a, a fantastic job at, you know, at capturing, you know, those uh, moments. And I think... That, those feelings, you know, because when I saw Miss Honey, of course she doesn't look like the Miss Honey we saw in the previous in uh, in the original film, but her essence was was there. The fact that she loved to teach and she protected in any way she could, she wanted to protect her kids. And how committed she was to being a teacher. And how even growing up in such a terrible environment. Raised by a bully. She never turned into her. She, that made her even more kind. And sweet. You know. And the essence of the character is there. And it really doesn't matter who plays the character. You know. Really, it really doesn't. Then you have Matilda, played by another young actress, um, who, again, I feel captures who Matilda is. But I do feel that, um, you know, and, and the, the same thing goes with the other characters. Trunchbull, we are going to hold it to talk about her as well. But, you know, I feel like the essence of, of or, or like the moral story... 
behind it, behind the original film and this film is quite different. The, 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 I feel like the, the meaning of this film is you write your own story. You know, nothing is set in stone. Your past doesn't dictate your future. And the fact that Matilda, you know, thought uh, or, or, or was aware, oh, my future is to live with this parents that I have and be mistreated and like, you know, all of that. But that doesn't have to be my story, you know. And because of that, I get to be a little bit nutty. I get to rebel against the system. And I get to, you know, be my own person. You know, and in the same way, that kind of rubs off on everyone uh, on the school, especially the ones in her class. Um, but it mostly did that for Miss Honey, who thought, I will always live under the shadow of my step aunt who is a bully and who I have to work for to pay everything she ever you know did for me or whatever you know uh, even though she did believe that uh, she was somehow involved with uh, the passing of her dad you know so um, that part I feel like th that was the message of this of this film you know to not uh, just settle you know to be your own person to fight for what's right um, and yeah I I, 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 I I love that and I feel like the original film was so like magic and and magical and beautiful as well and like it was such a it was a little bit more <sighs> like a coming of age story it was a little bit more of like really two souls you know miss honey and matilda kind of finding each other you know in this terrible world that they both had to live uh they knew each other's story you know here is something that you know matilda created in her mind and it turned out to be true uh, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's because she was reading that behind, you know, or maybe she wrote, like, read it in a book, I don't know, but she, or maybe it is granted to, because of her supernatural powers, which in this one is not, it, it, it happens, but it's not the main part of it, you know, as much as it was on the original version, but I am going to guess, you know, you have a musical and you are adding magic and all of that. Um, I think it will have been a little bit more tricky. And for that, you have the original and it's fantastic and it's unbeatable, you know. But this one, I feel like it stands on its own as well, you know. And it doesn't have to be kind of like, oh, let's just, you know, compare which one is better. I think both films give you something different and you can love both of them at the same time you know you don't have to hate on one to love the other or vice versa you know so um yeah then you have emma thompson god damn it did i thought someone will be able to um replicate because with the trunch bowl they did replicate her to every extent, you know, from the way she moved, she dressed and everything. Of course, on the original, she doesn't sing at all, you know. Uh, but in this one, she doesn't because it's a musical. Duh. Um, but they replicate and like, I saw it was the, it was a trench ball, you know. And she did such a fantastic job at recreating that but is still owning the character you know still making us realize that this is like another version even more evil than the previous one or equally because there are a lot of scenes of course that they replicate uh on on the musical and they have the musical part of it uh but she's 
evil. Evil. You know, she hates... I think they put a lot more effort to make us know the reasons why she hates kids. You know? How, and how much she hates them. You know, how she pictures a world without children. And instead of children, she likes horses for some reason. <laughs> that was a weird scene. But I loved it. I loved it, you know. But I do think that they needed to have said that she was a bit su superstitious in order for the whole, whole chalk thing to be a little bit more effective, you know? Um, but they did not say that, or I missed it because I did not hear of it. But, you know, I thought um, that, that she did... Oh, my God. Did she do an amazing job? Yes, she did. Because you are looking at a character that has been in the minds of, like, all of them, you know, but talking specifically about her, uh, a character that is, like, we've seen and is just disgusting in the way she behaves with towards these kids. And she's still that. And now she sings and she is, you know... She, she it gets to ways to be more despicable than the previous one and it's incredible you know I, I just think it's incredible the way she did it not 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 kind of like imitating but owning the character and putting the character where it is because you did not need to change that uh, trunch ball needed to be that despicable lady big lady who used to throw the hammer around um, and she needed to be that exactly like that uh, in order to work so I do think that by keeping Trunchbull as close as the original character was the the most amazing idea not changing her too much because then it wouldn't be as crazy as the other as the other one, and it will, you know, you needed an awful, awful character, and she did it amazingly, even worse than the previous one somehow, you know, um, and yeah, it, this was a beautiful, beautiful film, uh, and let me know. Is this, you know, Matilda the Musical? Is Matilda the Musical based on a musical from Broadway? Because usually they do that. They they have a movie, then they do the musical, and then this is the film. Because I think that's the same thing they have done with Mean Girls, which I have watched. I can react to Mean Girls because I have watched Mean Girls way too many times. And I love that film. So... Mean Girls went to Broadway, and there's a Broadway version, uh, and it's a musical. And now you have Mean Girls as a movie, but it's the version of... It's uh, Mean Girls, the musical, but it's based on the musical on Broadway that is based on the film. You know? Is it the same thing with Matilda, which is p based on... A play? Let me know. <laughs> but I absolutely love, adore it. I, I loved it. Uh, though I will have loved a little bit more magic from Matilda. But, you know, her mind, the way she tells her the stories and how captivating they were, you know, when she was talking about, you know, the acrobat and the scapologist or something like that. Didn't even know if that was a word. All of that, you know. Uh, uh, and then for it to be related exactly to what happened to Miss Honey. Uh, uh, also, I was like, when, when Matilda, the first time that uh, Matilda sings the song, and it's her and her dad, and she's a white kid, and the dad is black, I was like, okay, this is talking about, you know, Miss Honey. Why don't you put Miss Honey there, a young version of her. And it's it's because at that point, Matilda did not knew that that's the story she was telling. Not her story, but 
Mrs. Honey's story. Because once she realizes that, her story kind of shift and is a, a younger version of Miss Honey with her dad, you know? So, yeah. It was, it was, it was, that, that part was very well done because I was like, okay, because this is like, that's not your dad, you know? Why didn't they either put your original dad or didn't cast a young version for Miss Honey, you know? And then I realized that, so yeah, all good. <laughs> um, anyways, what else happened? Uh, you know, like I said, I, I loved it. The, uh, the amount of talented kids this film had, like singers, dancers, all of it. It was incredible, incredible, you know? Um, and it was so like, you know, like the choreographies and all of it and how they did it. It's insane, you know? Because also kids have to be like, you know, they they can overwork them. But still, like, it was amazing how they did it. And how, you know, th the choreography was so well done from the get-go, you know. Uh, talented kids, man. Um, I can't even follow, like, one, two, one, two. Like, it's awful for me. Dancing is not my strong suit. But these kids nailed it. All of them. Uh, but yeah, I love this film. I think it was perfect. I am glad, though, that I did watch the original. And it came out, honestly, from the bucket. If Matilda the Musical was, you know, came out of it before the original Matilda, I was going to go with the original Matilda first. I didn't want to watch the musical before I watch... Uh, the uh, uh, the original one. I didn't want to watch the musical before I watched the original one. And I loved it. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's about it. I loved it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you guys continue supporting for more. So please don't forget, if this is posted on YouTube, to give it a thumbs up. Heart if you are on Patreon. Subscribe, comment, hit notification bell. Uncut Reaction is always posted first on Patreon in case you guys want to check it out. Link, as always, will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys are incredible. Uh, thank you for suggesting this, this set of films, you know, both the original Matilda and this one. Thank you for suggesting them because both of them, they are not sponsored by anyone, is requested by you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed them. I don't think I talked too much during. I was very pay much paying attention to what was happening. I was just mesmerized by, by the entire film, you know. So I hope that you enjoy either way. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Um, like I said, the only thing I wish that they wouldn't have taken out is the fact that they should have said that Miss uh, the tr the Trunchbull was um, superstitious, you know. So the ghost and all of that could hit a little bit more. And the reason why she leaves is because of that, you know. But at the end, I do like the fact that you know Miss Honey, of course, turns into the headmistress and turns the place into a more loving, caring, respectful way, uh, a respectful school where kids are really there to learn and to have fun. I mean, a little bit more fun than I thought because there was an entire amusement park there. Let's just say that is there for the moment, you know. But you know what I mean, you know, that that we could have seen... Uh, uh, uh. No, I love the fact, the, the fact that it is a very lovely place for the kids to learn. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos. Well, next film. Where's the... Okay. <laughs> so, off with Matilda. Which is... I don't know if I can... Matilda the musical. Off with that. And in with the next film. Friends and Family Christmas. That's the next film. So, stay tuned for that. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.